Greetings photography buddies, and let's get straight into testing the living daylights out of this little Astrohori 14mm f4.5 pancake lens. No messing about here. It's available in black or silver, and on Nikon Z, Micro Four Thirds, Sony E, Fuji X, and Canon EFM mounts, and it offers an APS-C sized image circle. If you put it on a full frame camera, here is the vignetting you'll see. I enjoy testing pancake lenses a lot, especially when they have such a lovely wide angle, in this case, the full frame equivalent of 21mm, an ultra wide angle, nice. That is a really useful field of view for all kinds of photography, although obviously it'll hardly place a heavy emphasis on your subject. It has a fixed maximum aperture of f4.5, not very bright at all really, but not as dark as some other pancake lenses on the market today. It's a fully manual lens, so you have to be happy with manually focusing in order to use this thing, but it's low price of only about £80 in the UK, or US dollars somewhat makes up for it. I'd like to thank Astrohori for sending me a copy of this lens for evaluation, but as usual, this is a totally independent review, and as I warned them, I'll be checking out both its strengths and its weaknesses. Let's look at the build quality first. This thing is astonishingly simple, as simple as you can get. Its body is made of metal, it's not weather sealed, and it weighs only 120 grams. There is only one control point on the lens, the focus ring. It turns smoothly and heavily, and only about 50 degrees or so, but still, that's enough for such a wide-angle lens on an APS-C camera. When you do change focus, a small amount of breathing is noticeable, zooming in a little as you focus more closely, as you can see here. The lens's front filter size is 55mm, and it comes with a slip-on lens cap that sticks comfortably onto the front. This lens was branded Rockstar, but it really is an Astrohori model. Of course, it does not have image stabilisation or any other electronic function. That's it. As I mentioned, it really is a simple lens, a symbol to use as, I don't know, a bookmark or a dinner plate or something. The key selling point here really is its tiny size. Ok, let's move on and look at image quality. I'm testing it here on a Sony A5100 camera with its 24 megapixel APS-C sized image sensor. No in-camera corrections are available with this lens, and considering that only one focal length and one aperture setting is available here, well, like Henry VIII said to each of his six wives, I won't keep you long. The good news is that in the middle of the image, we see absolutely spectacular image quality, razor sharpness and tons of contrast. As you move outward along the image frame though, that sharpness gets a little shaky, and right in the very edges we see a lot of softness and a little colour fringing, oh, and darkness too, from vignetting. And well, that's really it, that's all I can show you. It's nice to see that glorious image quality in the middle, but the corners leave a lot to be desired. Ok, let's take a look at distortion and vignetting now. Aside from a very gentle wobble, the lens is surprisingly distortion free. However, vignetting is obviously a major issue, as usual, for a pancake lens. This lens's minimum focus distance is 23cm, so not especially close to your subject really. The good news however, is that close up image quality is no softer than at normal distances. Now, let's see how the lens works against bright lights. There's a few little niggles of flaring at certain points away from bright light sources, but on the whole, contrast levels are actually keeping their head above water. Now, let's take a look at sun stars and coma levels. The lens doesn't seem to offer any sun stars, but if we zoom in, we can at least see that coma smearing is only moderate here. Finally, it's very difficult to get out of focus backgrounds with this lens simply due to its parameters. When you do, they do look a little edgy, but not bad. Overall, well, the Astrohori 14mm f4.5 is a nice little bit of fun. It's a lens to pop on your camera and enjoy, and not take too seriously, and thankfully its low price reflects that. But fun it is, that wide angle is enjoyable to work with, and it's a dead simple piece of kit in every way, to be sure.